About a year ago, though, I got booked to perform at a ladies' bridge club meeting. Let me tell you something about those gals. They know a lot about cards. But really, they could care less about bridges. I don't think there was a structural engineer in the group. There were some golfers and some realtors and some vodka drinkers and some gamblers, but no engineers. And I had done my homework too, man. I had studied span and load and wind shear and beam bridges and arch bridges and suspension bridges. And I opened up with, and why is the Golden Gate Bridge painted red anyway? And one of the ladies yells out, we don't care, just take your clothes off. <laughs> I said, lady, you don't want to see me naked, believe me. She says, yes, I do. She goes, my last husband, Sheldon, had a body like a Sharpay. He was all wrinkly and hairy. She goes, the only thing attractive about the man was his American Express card. <laughs> Watching a show the other night on the amazing human body. And they said, you know, what's interesting about the human body is that, well, no body is perfect. Because no human body is perfectly symmetrical. Our left side is just a little different than our right side, right? They said everybody has one leg that's a little longer than the other, one foot that's a little larger, one arm's a little stronger, one eye's a little bigger, one part of our brain is more dominant than the other. I thought what's amazing is we don't just fall over. <laughs> or walk around in circles dragging around all of our oversized gear. <laughs> but I was staring at my hand the other day for like 45 minutes, just checking it out. Wow. Whoa. And well, it got me out of jury duty. <laughs> the district attorney told the judge, Your Honor, I think we can let this gentleman go. He says, Sir, you're welcome to go home now, or back to the home, wherever you come from. I said, Oh, bye-bye. <laughs> Have you ever noticed, though, that your arm is just long enough and your finger is just small enough that you can put it over your head and stick it in your ear? <laughs> These are things that I have to deal with in my job. <laughs> and belly buttons. Belly buttons are kind of a fun physical anomaly, aren't they? And everybody has one, too. And they're all a little different, aren't they? Some people have cute little belly buttons with uh, little ear piercings in them. Some people have innies and some people have outies. Some people have belly buttons that look like an old prospector trying to whistle without his teeth. <laughs> Every time I see a belly button like that, I want to stick a corn cob pipe in the thing. <laughs> and ear hair. I don't understand ear hair. What is the purpose of ear hair? And how come every time a man starts losing his hair, he starts growing ear hair? Is that so we can flip it over when we go bald? Walk around with our ear hair over our head? Hey, ladies, I work for the Treasury Department. <laughs> I wandered into the bathroom one morning. I was looking in the mirror. Ugh, it's the morning. And I noticed I had this hair growing out of my ear. Not out of my skinny ear, but out of my big fat ear, right? I said, what the heck is that? My daughter's out eating breakfast in the kitchen. She says, what's the matter, Daddy? I said, I've got this big hair growing out of my ear. She goes, Mom, Daddy's turning into a werewolf. My son comes running down the hallway. I want to see. I want to see. Is it gross? I jumped out. Ah. He goes, ah. He goes, that is gross. <laughs> But everybody has something funny about their physicality, don't they? I mean, besides my big fat ear, I've got two flat feet and finger toes. You know what finger toes are? That's when the toe next to your big toe is longer than your other toes. Funny thing is, is one of my finger toes is just a little bit longer than the other, which I think is one of my more masculine physical characteristics. <laughs> the other day I'm putting my pants on, and I had a hole in the knee of my jeans. My finger toe got caught in the hole. I ended up hopping around in circles, and then I just fell right over. I on my big fat ear. My wife comes into the bedroom. What happened? What's going on here? I said, oh, I fell. She said, you tripped on your finger toe again, didn't you? Said, yeah. She goes, that's amazing. I said, well, nobody's perfect, honey. 